Welcome to the world of Micah. Behind me, Evans City Cemetery, filming a location for the opening of George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Now, let's take a closer look. And with me is Mike. Hey! It's been a minute. It has. We're, We're in here. PA. I know, we came all the way here. To Pittsburgh. We're going right up here to Evans City Cemetery, one of the opening spots of George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Now in the film, Barbara and her brother Johnny drive right up that hill there. They would be coming from this direction here and they drove right up the Evans City Cemetery Hill. The sign up there has changed since 1968. Mike just said, it's so nice out here. The weather is so nice. It's like 70 degrees right now? 70 something degrees. It's 9 a.m. I hear birds chirping. <laughs> Soon to be the dead. dead. We're going up to the top of the cemetery now. We're gonna film it. Kind of like the perspective of Johnny and Barbara. I'll be Johnny, you be Barbara. <laughs> All right, we're driving up just like Johnny and Barbara would have. This Evans City Cemetery sign is newish from back then. The other sign was kind of like a stop sign. It had uh, bullet holes in it. People had shot, you know, probably some local Pittsburgh folks <laughs> or Evans City folks. But we are driving up the hill just like Johnny and Barbara did. I've never been here before. We're doing this all together for the first time. That's cool. Look at that. A layout. And see the chapel there? That's where we're headed. All right, from dawn to dusk. Ooh, there's a nicer, uh, oh, yeah. look at that. Evans City, 1891. Man, this is a, we're way up here. This is very steep. You gotta watch out for other vehicles. All right, now we're starting to get, okay. So, in the movie, Barbara and Johnny go straight ahead. All the filming takes place right here next to this chapel and right there. But I wanna do the drive just like they would have done. A lot of these tombstones and headstones are kind of the same. They're all like alike in a way. The one thing that makes it easy to find the locations is the chapel. So right here, take a left. And all the action took place straight ahead. On the other side, right down there actually, you could cut through where the chapel was. That's where it all took place. But this is what the camera really didn't show you on film. Whole cemetery out here, real cemetery. And we go this way. This is where all the action took place. Gonna park the car kind of in the same spot that Barbara and Johnny did. There's the chapel down here. Let's do this. So in the film, the car would have pulled straight ahead and they would have parked kind of where we did, Mike, the rental car here, right in front of this. This is the, the famous chapel. And then Barbara and Johnny would have been walking up the hill like so. That tree's been here for a long time. It can be seen in the shot right here. And where our car is, it's kind of where Johnny's vehicle was. And him and Barbara were walking right towards us where Mike and I are standing right now. Now they walk down a ways here, and the way you can tell that this is where the scene took place are because of a few notable headstones. Like these headstones are probably some of the most popular headstones in cinema history as far as zombies go. Even on my, my t-shirt here, <laughs> Barbara's on the cemetery Headstone there like it it is known everyone knows that the the Blair Headstone 
is the one you need to find to match everything up. And there it is, right there. This is seen in a lot of the scenes, and that is Barbara's headstone right there. Not actually Barbara's headstone, but that's the one she's, she's like holding on to. Let's match up all the spots. Right here, you can see Barbara and Johnny walking towards the grave, even though they parked on the right-hand side at the chapel, they're seen walking around this way. And this right here is the grave they are visiting to put the cross down. I wonder how many times Barbara and Johnny bought the same, you know, set of arrangements. <laughs> <laughs> hey, praying's for church. This is where they were walking, right here. Pretty amazing. Right here is where Johnny was kneeling down in front of the headstone, placing the cross. Not a whole lot has changed. There used to be a tree, as seen in the film, right here. That no longer is here. And if you've ever wondered what the tombstone was, well, it was the coals. So in, in the movie, it's weird. I don't know if this was seen, but Barbara is standing right here next to the bee and this little flower indentation on Blair. And this is where she's walking around in the, the photo you're going to see right now. Now you can see in the photo, Barbara's exactly where I am. The Blair headstone really is what helped everyone find these locations, in my opinion. Because as I'm standing here, this was the reason I knew it. Even though I'd gone on MapQuest and gone on Google Earth and I had seen this stuff a million times online, this is what really helped me with kind of getting my bearings, if you will, with my living dead. It's kind of hard to believe that we're standing in the same spot where Johnny said, they're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it, you're ignorant. They're coming for you. Look, there's one now. Now you're looking from the perspective of the very first zombie on film. He would have been walking this way. He was pretty quick though, this zombie. And then we're gonna match up with the camera saw. So in the film, he would have been coming from this direction here, looking around, there's flies on me. And you can see some of these tombstones over here, especially this one with the point. but he made his way down this little makeshift walkway area that has been beaten down over time. And this is where he attacks Barbara. Johnny runs in and obviously Johnny doesn't make it. Let's match up the rest of the shots. Right here is where Barbara was walking right towards the camera. And this is where the zombie attacked, grabs her, they have a little scuffle and you can see the Nicholas Kramer tombstone in the background right here as she's fighting to get away. Johnny obviously comes up to her rescue. And then a famous scene, probably one of the most famous headstones in horror cinema history. Mr. Nicholas Kramer, February 18th, 1842, to March 17th, I believe is what that says, 1917. This is the famous shot right here with Barbara wrapped around it in total fear. And I don't blame her. I would be terrified too, <laughs> because right in front of her is the Myers plot. Why, Why did they do it? Do it? <laughs> it was kind of a high shot because she's right here. Her head is literally blocking this and you can barely see the, the Nicholas. George got a, a really good shot on this right here. That's pretty wild. The famous headstone right here, which in my opinion, this headstone's almost more famous than the one they were visiting next to Blair. This is the one everyone kind of remembers. Now, as a huge fan of the film, I've always wanted to do this. There it is. That is like the pose 
that a lot of horror fans want to see when they come to Evans City. I'm surprised people haven't left mementos out here, but this is a piece of horror history. We did it. Now, while all this is happening, Barbara is standing right here, mortified because she's watching Johnny have a tango right here on this headstone, which belongs to Mr. Clyde Myers. This is the headstone that Johnny falls and cracks his head on right here. So Barbara's right here watching in full terror as the living dead takes down her brother, Johnny, right here. A lot's changed. There was a bush right here in this area. It's been removed. There's also another angle of Barbara, like right here, watching in horror as she sees what's happening to her brother because of this guy. So after all this, Barbara starts running towards the chapel. You can see this headstone here as she's running from the zombie and she runs towards the chapel. A little difficult to match up because there is no longer a tree right here. There was a tree here and that can be seen. But the zombie would have been walking right towards, actually running, he was quick. Guy was quick running towards Barbara, kind of breaking through the tree that was here. And they continued all the way down to their final conflict they had right over here in front of the chapel. Barbara was like right down here. It was a low shot. And I think it was that tombstone right there behind Drebert, the older one over here, that guy. But she's like right here, the chapel. And she loses her shoe, the whole thing right here. So Barbara would have been running down this hill. This is pretty steep here. That's, that's pretty steep. And that can be seen in the background as she's running towards the car. She runs and gets in the vehicle and she thinks she's safe. But right here is where the zombie catches up with her. In fact, this tree can be seen as a wee little tree in this scene where he finally picks up the, the brick or the rock and throws it right at Barbara. Well, the passenger window. So he would have been like right here, like ah, trying to break in and bust in, find something and takes it. Ah. As a kid, I saw this scene one time. I think it was on like Joe Bob Briggs or something and it was in the middle of the night. And I remember it turning on in this scene and that music and him trying to break in and she's screaming. It terrified me. It really did. It was, it was very eerie, very scary. But now it's like a warm blanket. <laughs> but also in the film, you'll notice that this tree, like I said, is very, very small. And then all this forestry back here was not overgrown. You could actually see the hills of Evan City. And I've always wanted to know what's in this building and why Barbara did not run in here. The world may never know, but did they use this as like a production office? while they were filming that day. It's a real chapel, very small, but it's been here since filming. I know, this is it, Mike. Head around to the backside here. Just wanna show you guys some of the stuff that the, the film didn't show. The road, it looks the same because he's, he's chasing her right through here and that's where she's going down and you know, it hits the tree and everything. Or so they make you think in the film. Pretty sure they shot it here, but it cuts to the farmhouse, you know, very quickly. But yeah, this is the, the back side here. It all took place right here. This is what the view would have been like from the, the camera if they were filming, you know, on this side. So Barbara finally puts the car into neutral and she goes coasting down here all the way down and the zombie chases after her and she crashes the car into the tree. Does anyone know if it was this tree that Barbara hit? Probably not. 
This was a fun trip. I'm really glad we got to come out here today to Evans City Cemetery and see some iconic spots from one of my all-time favorite George Romero films, Night of the Living Dead. I love this film. I'm glad I got to come out here and see where the whole beginning takes place. Thank you.